All right, we are here after the Urban Knights knock off number 13, Grand Canyon, by a score of 63 to 55. Here with head coach Lene Larson and senior forward Katie Wade. Uh, coach, we'll start with you and uh, just talk a little bit about this victory. Uh, what was what was the key for you in it, and how it feels to beat a, another ranked team this year? I mean, you know, we came into this game really needing a win. Uh, Grand Canyon being ranked their team in the country, that's, you know, the highest ranked team that we've ever beat, you know, in our program. And so, huge win for us. I think it gives us a lot of confidence. After so many close losses, it feels really good to pull out a win. You know, I'm really proud of the girls. They played so hard, and they executed down the stretch. You know, they, the effort's always been there. It's just a matter of us finishing games, and we finally had the ability to do that. I think that's going to give us huge confidence finishing out the rest of conference season than, you know, going into the conference tournament. We put ourselves right back in the mix as far as postseason goes. And so this is also the first overtime game you guys have had this year, and it really kind of came down to the wire. Some big free throws made, uh, some big rebounds gotten, and uh, you guys also – really uh, had a, a certain game plan against uh, Judy Jones, one of the best players in this conference, for Grand Canyon. So talk a little bit about how you guys uh, made decisions down the stretch and especially uh, the game plan against her. Well, yeah, we really focus on her. She's an athletic player, a uh, really tough matchup. You know, she loves to get to paint, so we tried to take that away. She hit a couple of jumpers early, but I thought we did a really good job of defending her. And, you know, she goes to the boards really hard. She got, you know, some junk points off of offensive rebounds, but for the most part, I thought we made the game really hard for her. Took a couple of charges on her, got her in foul trouble, and that really changes the way they play. You know, we also talked about Malin Smith, who ended up having 16 points, but a 4 17 night. You know, shooting from the field. So I thought we made things hard for them, and you know, those are the, their two go-to players, the ones that are averaging double figures for them offensively. All right, we'll turn it over to Katie, and uh, you have had quite a stretch recently, rebounding the basketball, and again tonight with 16 rebounds. Talk a little bit about uh, your focus, these, especially in these mo more recent games. Uh, the last game you got set the or had the second most rebounds in program history. So what's been your focus going on the court lately? Um, just defense and not putting so much pressure on myself to score and just playing defense, working hard, and hoping that the offense comes. And so you guys also get a chance to uh, continue this homestand on, uh, on Saturday against Fresno Pacific and, uh, like Coach said, right back in the mix. What, uh, what are you guys focusing on at this point in the year, both of you? Well, at this point in the year, after a big win like this, it's easy to have a letdown game, so it's important for us to come back with the same intensity, especially on the defensive end. That's really where we've kept ourselves in games, and we didn't shoot the ball particularly well tonight, but our defense is really what won us that game. So if we come out and play hard defensively, we can beat anybody. All right, thanks so much.